I came from Oxford to Nathalang in the 60s. It was a booming place. There was pubs, there was shops, there was hardwares. Nathalang was a very vibrant place. We had the hotel, the railway station. Taking cattle off the train in Nathalang and all the young lads, they'd all give us a hand and my father would give him a few shillings and everyone was happy. There was a lot of people working in the creamery. The creamery was the big employer. The creamery, one of the biggest employers. We were one of the biggest suppliers of milk in Munster. Oh, sure. Condensed milk being taken to England. All the trains going up to Dublin used to stop. This place was thriving, absolutely thriving. Four or five pubs there. There was a guard of barracks and a butcher's. You had a big draper shop over there called Welch's. The bakery, a coal yard, a granary, an undertaker's. Jack Cogan, the first taxi service. Marie Quirk's shop. Every half hour there was a train coming are going and there was people getting on and getting off. The trains shunting over and back. Your two butcher shops. Mara's pub. Nana Carroll used to have pub. a small little shop. Dawson's All pub. the salesmen who came via the railway station stayed and spread out to the locality from Harris's Hotel. Sutton's. Daisy Burns shop. Metalworks factory. Joe Daver. The Forge. Tom Burns's. Dancing was huge here. Creamery dancers. So the creamery was big in the place and they sponsored some of the dancers. And we would lie in bed listening to the music uh, in the <laughs> hall next door all the time. They'd come on the train with their bicycles and then they would cycle home. We had a, we had a guard station, we had three guards. Not long was a very vibrant place when I was a child. Mary Cattle had been loaded, we used, used to, to make the little kids' toys. There was a hotel, there was the railway station. Here's the car. 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 Here's the Knocked long for the last number of years, in so many ways, has been declining. Boring. It has lost a lot of employment. Not enough things to do. We're only left with one shop, one pub, and any industry that has been there is practically gone. Depressing. Gone. Lonely. Gone. Dreary. Gone. Knocked long creamery was taken over by Dairy Gold in around 85 or 86. It ceased operations completely which meant the farmers didn't go out at all, that their milk was being collected. There would have been that crowd that would be coming to the village every morning, so they wouldn't be coming anymore. Once the station closed and the trains... 1977. ...didn't stop in Knock Long, would be a very significant change to businesses. People got transport, they went to the big supermarkets. They weren't supporting local, so local had to close. The hall, over time, went into disrepair and I was part of that committee of three or four people. And, you know, we often looked at dull days and said, does anybody want it anymore? And, you know, that sense of community spirit was gone. And that was an awful loss. Does anybody want it anymore? There was a game of ball. There was kids playing indoor football here. The hall. A young fella, he was in the U club. A ball was kicked up in the air. He kicked football. The ball was kicked up. The ball hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling. Into the ceiling of the hall. And a bit of plaster fell off. And revealed the asbestos. I think that's asbestos, is it? It was asbestos. 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 We had to shut it down immediately. It was either a case of close the hall or redo it. When it was decided to renew the actual building of the community hall, it actually brought people together. Deirdre Brown calls the first public meeting. It could be described as a full and frank discussion. The one thing that everybody took out of it, the meeting that night was that we weren't going to give up. It was very heartening to see the younger people that came together. We had a great chance when such a cross-section of the community turned up, and that was the start. Over a series of meetings, Ballyhara came involved. And we found out after us, Ballyhara were knocking on the door every night, sending letters to us, and we weren't reading them. We had to put up 25% of the funding. Bringing everybody together for the big Harvest Festival, which started off for fundraising. It was like old times. And they're rolling their beers, they're getting ready. Where's the official staff now? Brings back memories. <laughs> People lent a no interest loan to the community. We went out in pairs and we took different roads around Knock Long and we called to the houses and explained what the interest free loan was about. Within about three months we'd raised about 30,000. And we took off from there, new hall, state-of-the-art facility. And it was something more than just four walls and a hall. 
People wanted something different in Auckland. And I brought a little parish to say we've stood up, we're fighting back, and we're really thrilled to be here. Open the hall, celebrate, and having fun. The actual fundraising which started off to help the building of the hall brought the community together. What are we going to do now? We can't just have the hall. We're not going to sit in our laurels and do nothing. We decided why don't we do a wider community plan. A whole community plan that tries to get the input from as many people as possible. It involves sending out a community questionnaire. Then step two was a public meeting, asking people what they liked about the community, what were the challenges and what solutions. Dawson. John Calroy. It was advertised as being open to everyone. It didn't matter if you were living in the community for six months or 16 years. Mary Wallace. Ray Maher. John and then from that we developed six issues to work on and we set up issue groups. History, heritage and tourism groups. Services for young people. Employment and enterprise. Leisure and recreation. Services for the older people. Community safety. Built and natural environment. And each of those had about five or six people. And then they drew up the plan for their particular issue. We all had facilitators. Each group each looked at um, the service that we did before the public. We had Eileen O'Keefe at ours. We were the group. service. Amanda Sassery. Information that came from the public meetings as well. You're learning all the time. It's a learning. There's a format laid out. Too many people, so it wasn't um, too daunting. Um, uh, all around. Yes. And when there were things you could do straight away. To there was no no parent and child group here. We had to come up with solutions to solve those problems. Because people had sat around, they wanted actions. All of a sudden, click, 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 you have different things up and running. Active retirement group. Community alert scheme. CV workshops. Knock long reaching out website. Turn to toddler group. Drama group. Elton Tidy Towns. Active morning group. Summer camp for the kids. Was Knock Long much different? It was the place very all tidy and very nice back then. On the summer camp, they were actually looking at their ideas of Knock Long, doing their own little plan, investigating what was going on. Can you picture it in your mind? What was it I can skip? Was there any problems around here then? It actually gave the children an opportunity to give their own voice and their own opinions, not just all the adults. In future plans, did you think of putting in anything for in your kids? future plans, did you think of our children? Do you think that um, Knock Long will have a good future? Yeah, I think Knock Long will have a good future. It might take about five years. It is fantastic to see the effort that Knock Long has made in the last three to four years. It's a plan for everyone in Knock Long. Implement it. Everybody can help in some way. As many people as we can get in there who have an interest and motivation to help locally will determine what we have in ten years' time. It's a lovely village. A great community spirit. In Knock Long is in you and you won't get it out. I got a soft spot for Knock Long. Very soft community. It's after bringing an awful lot of people together again. Complete as many actions as Put everything back in place. Things are looking Enjoy up again. bright future. Yeah. We're all looking forward. It's, exciting. it's, it's going to be a very exciting time. Vibrant. It is not dead. We're awake. Our community is not coming dying. back oh. and going to come back. Alive. Knock Long is alive. This is just the beginning.